actually did a fault from Kunt, which I don't care about. Congratulations. And a nice story. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, lads, that's my fiance. Ah, cringe. Poor lady, did Dan just say? Yeah. People just don't care because you love us so much. Like, surely. Yeah, I, yeah. I Andrew think, looks uh, like he's been crying. Andrew especially will be looking, was looking forward to her coming out without any cameras. But... <laughs> what? I've already asked him about that. <laughs> oh, I've got, I've got what, Courtney? I'm sure he said the same thing <laughs> to us. Yeah, yeah. So what has Courtney got to keep her in there that you boys haven't? Editing. Uh, bollocks. <laughs> editing? Who said editing? Entertainment. Oh, <laughs> they said editing. She is. Well, well Shane Jane. Bollocks. Well, I yeah. know Courtney is Shane Jane more because yeah. you see Shane Jane yeah. more. Shane Jay, has, is, he's got the best Shang character Dai. anyone I've ever met. He's got the biggest heart. He cares enough about people. He's educated. Yeah. And he, <laughs> he, he, he's intelligent. Educated. And he really cares about who's educated and who's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He should be the new <laughs> education <laughs> minister. <laughs> um, Shane, for like an hour, and he, t- he was teaching me about <laughs> feminism, like going back <laughs> years and the struggle and everything like that. And he managed to do it in a way that was not patronising, even though he used words that I've never heard before and stuff like that. Feminism. <laughs> like feminism. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Andrew. <laughs> Without ramming it down your throat. And yeah. Johnny, do you think um, your knowledge of feminism <laughs> was a bit wider than it was for mm. uh, Massively, yeah. Have you learned? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of that is to do with uh, talking to Shane as well. Uh, yeah. See, Shane's educated <laughs> all the dimlos in the uh, house. He's educated and everyone. And the public. Yeah. And the public. Yeah. It's good, yeah. it's good that like yeah. these debates are getting the mainstream it's platform, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's really good. It's because of Big Brother. Like, so I was trying to justify it at work today that Big Brother was actually political. It is. Well, it's not going down very well. Even I'd be going... I mean, it is too little, too late, isn't it? But it's been good. Uh, mm. I don't know. Uh, oh, Someone said about the proposal on Twitter another ploy to get the public on side. Uh, <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank Oh well, we didn't lose Shane. Thank God for that. Oh, well, that was a lovely show. Ah, oh, brilliant. Really that waving pin nice. is getting on my tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that could be one of our listeners. <laughs> <laughs> um, shall we see what Ryland thinks of proceedings? <laughs> All right. Hello, babe. Well, it's been a bit of a busy night tonight, hasn't it? It's been a very busy night, but do you know what? Such a fun evening. No, it's been, it's been good. It's been good. I'm glad that we've lost three tonight. But yeah. We're going to have a bit of a busy one. Three's up. I know, to be fair, though, it is over in a week, so we did need to get some of them out. Well, we just extend it by two more weeks. A long yeah. conversation between Ryan, Ryan <laughs> and Emma via video. <laughs> well, obviously, Andrew, Johnny, and Daniel are going to be here on the panel. I've got the lovely Sherry Houston from the Tenny, yes. Karen Richardson from Hot yes. Yoke, Duncan from Blue. And yes. Hollyoaks and Tom Reed Wilson, not from Hollyoaks, <laughs> and allegedly some lady called Emma Willis. So get yourself down here and see after the break. Oh, don't let her in! Don't let her in at all. Um, so Ryland is up next. With I just saw the clip of when Daniel got evicted. Courtney was looking at the people in the garden as as it happened. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, so that her, she was kind of doing what I was doing, going, what? That's a shame, actually. When? When's that? Oh, fuck. What do we pay attention to anyway? Shall we write that? Hold on. We can rewind now. I still know. Instagram and Snapchat, and I'll be back on Tuesday I love this version of the back. The back and track. Wow! This one goes, wow! It does, but it's like edited. Oh, let's see what the house is saying in this little glimpse. Uh oh. Hey. You are right. What have they done with those intruders? That's what I remember. Yeah, look, they're not allowed out. I like Jess's hair and those little buns. It's like cute. 90, yeah, it? looks cute. Like Spice Girls, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, look at Malika's boobs. Is Anna proved that cleavage? She hasn't. Fuck. But and Malika's not willing to be like no. countersigned by her. Her boobs look good. Bloody hell, it's all out. Yeah. That's side boob and a half. It's that's a front boob. That's third boob. <laughs> <laughs> no, two thirds. Oh, I don't know. It's boobs in three boobs. Had a broken leg. She looks good. I like that velvet dress that she's got on. Actually, everyone looks good. Ashley looks good. Jess looks good. Courtney looks good. Malika looks good. It's funny how, like, Malika's got a bit of a Chanel boob out vibe going on. She just needs a hoodie with a boob. Yeah. Look, you can only see a bone Courtney's skirt. Look. Look. 
No, so Bridget Nielsen over again. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting so angry. I, I, actually, yeah, I didn't listen like back to that bit, but... <laughs> I think I only got about an hour in before I give up. I like Ashley's pink hair. Shame yeah. she's such a boring twat. What's all the boys? See, on Bots, Genuine was uh, digging at Andrew. What's she said? <laughs> he was. Oh, Anne. Anne and Courtney were both questioning. That was the most hilarious <laughs> overheard conversation. Did you get that? Did no, you get that? No, because I was talking. You were trying to talk to me. Sorry, no, no, you're I was just listening. ignoring me. Basically. Anne Whittacombe and Shane were having a conversation. And yeah. Shane Jay and Anne had been on a stamp. <laughs> <laughs> on a stamp? Yeah, like on a postage oh. stamp. Come on. Surely not. No, how can she? She ain't the queen. Exactly. And he said that he, he had been on one as well, I think. <laughs> <laughs> In Australia. I don't know. And then he'd been the answer to a question in Trivial Pursuit. Yeah. And so had she. <laughs> one upping on. It's better than name dropping, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's it then. Let's have a pause and then we'll get back to shouting the word couldn't. It? So we have discovered actual footage of the intruders into yeah. the Big Brother house. We're... Super TV 24-7 tweeted it. We're going to play it. It's only eight seconds long. It is eight seconds. Mm-hmm. Um, ain't playing. Technical di- Big Brother's... Oh. Inside the... <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't do it again. Do it again. Say, you, well, you didn't think you didn't we'd, think do, it we'd do it again. Didn't think we'd do we'll it do again. We'll do it every week, damn it. They look like proper counsellors, as they scum. <laughs> <laughs> um, this guy's called Ryan Taylor on Snapchat. Oh, yeah. How many followers you got? I don't know because it's Snapchat. You oh. can't see on that kind of thing. Should oh. I look? Should I look for him on Snapchat? I don't know about Snapchat. I know that you don't, but I've got it. Have you? Yeah. I don't understand. Let's find it. I'm too see. old. I said at work today to my friend Ross. I said something about going to the pictures, and he said you're from the past. <laughs> I like the term going it's to the pictures. It's nice, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> You're from the past. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> Rude. What I want to know is, why would you go to the effort of breaking into the Big Brother house and only get eight seconds of footage out of yeah, it? Yeah, because they obviously got bundled to the ground by that security guard then, didn't they? Our but friend. we know how tight <laughs> how tight security is there, don't we? They didn't have the booties on. It's <laughs> shocking. <laughs> like, seriously. It's like, ugh, someone on Twitter said, put the barbed wire back up. That's what we say. Put the net back over. Put the net gone. <laughs> is there no net anymore? Actually, be. I don't think there Can't was. Be if those guys are going in there. I oh, know there was the net. I remember us looking up? at it. Yeah, I didn't look it up. Yeah, I remember us talking about it. I had to run around the garden, but um, <laughs> they must have like to get in. You've either got to go over mm. and like over the top of the camera run, mm. or like through the gate. Mm-hmm. But Jack D left the gate that time, and oh, yeah. it was just open, so you never know. <laughs> what back in nineteen forty two. By the way, I've made Gaz a delicious mug of gin sip, it's which lem is sip plus gin. Lem sip with a shot of gin in. Have you tried it yet? No, I'm trying, hot, to work, isn't it? I'm trying to work Snapchat, but I don't mm. actually understand. Fuck that, let's not move on. <laughs> I just added that guy as a, as a friend. Oh, God. He ain't no one's friend. And also he's he... not your friend. He's no friend of Big Brother. No, he's, a intr- he's an intruder and he's a criminal. Arrest him. Order, order. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get off that now. Put that down. I'm closing Snapchat. I don't know how to work it. It's an oh, oversight old. on you're my part. You're too old for that. <laughs> Come on. That's for young people. Let's taste this then. Oh, God. How it's going to be hot, though. How much gin is One there? shot. One shot. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance. To... Oh, this opportunity better, comes actually. once in a lifetime. Oh. Is that Eminem again? Yeah. Fuck it. I like all like Eminem's songs. greatest hits on this know, podcast. Apart from I don't like his new album because he's got Ed Sheeran on. Ugh. Ed Sheeran's going everywhere. I don't like oh, him. Oh, he's like herpes, isn't he? Mm. <laughs> it's like gonorrhea. It's like a cucumber like a with cucumber gonorrhea. cucumber salmonella. Right. Um, what are we doing? So, we're on the bit. Of, are you in the right place on your notes? I've got... I'm on part four of um, the one where... We're in the middle... Anne was called a cunt. Yeah, we're in the middle of Andrew calling Anne a cunt. He's doubling down on it, going, yeah, she's an old old cunt, basically. And then Dapper... I noticed Johnny's face when Anne, when Andrew said it. When Andrew called Anne a cunt, Johnny smiled because he knew that he was safe tomorrow, that he didn't bank on it being a triple eviction. But you could tell that Johnny was pleased like, that Andrew said it. Like yeah, exactly. And then Dan was like, oh, don't don't say anything stupid. Mm, a bit late for that. Um, 
What do you think? Uh, yeah, Johnny sort of went into like sort of like reality yeah. TV um, counselling mode. Yeah. Like, I've been there, I've said something stupid on my yeah. show, don't be careful what you say, right? But didn't Angie say something stupid on his show as well? On The Apprentice or whatever? That's very minor. Mm. Something about girl fo- female football or something. Now, what do you think about this whole, oh, I respect my elders thing? Do you respect all every single person older than you on the planet? Do you respect them? No. <laughs> Why not? You should respect your elders. I don't know why people think that like age is an excuse for being a dick. <laughs> I don't either. Not... It makes no sense. People have. I wouldn't to earn associate respect. with someone that I didn't thought they had like backward clothes. No, or just discriminative views at all. No, I don't. And care I think what it's how okay to call are. them out for it. Yeah, it should be actually worse that you're older and not any wiser. It actually makes it worse. This respect true, your actually. elders thing is. I mean, it comes back to what I said about my grandma, really, doesn't it? When, mm. people, when they said, "Oh, it's an age thing," and I said this to my dad actually, mm. also, just because. You know, this comes up in my life, this sort of thing. Yeah. But it influences my life. I spoke yeah. to my dad about it. He says, it's not an age thing at all. It's no, about like, it's how not. you think and you're, how open-minded yeah. you are. And, you, and people attribute it to being an age thing to be a bigot. Oh, well, in my day. Someone on Twitter today said, oh, Anne is like a product of her environment and her views were shaped when she was younger. I was like, that's bullshit because my dad used to say, I'm going down the P word shop when oh, yeah, we were we younger. To, yeah, yeah. We used to talk about that exactly. Commonly. Yeah, so my dad used to go on going down the P word shop, and I remember thinking at the time, "Ugh, why are you saying that? That's disgusting." So no, your views aren't shaped by your environment. You can choose to have your own views and mm. choose not to be a racist and choose not to be a bigot. And if you don't ever learn anything as you get older, if you're just oh, I'm the product of how I was treated as a child, well then every kid Actually, who was ever abused would be like fucked up and abuser as well. It makes no sense. That's a really valid point about like you can change that because it used to be common usage to say that about mm. the shop mm-hmm. and yeah. my dad used to say it commonly you know mm. he would never dream of saying it no. he'd say like what was i thinking no, like, that's it, terrible but it was seen but although it was seen as acceptable do you remember thinking that's not quite right when you were younger i think i was too young to yeah because you're to, younger than yeah, me no. but i remember thinking that about things like benny hill and stuff like that I as think well I, I think i do remember asking why do we call it that yeah and getting an explanation well i know people who still say that shit no you don't yeah I don't think that existed. Still. Yeah, older people, the next generation, the next generation who are going to die. Older people. Yeah, like. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Inaudible. Yeah. <laughs> on the subtitle. Put the taps on first, please. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I pull them up on it, and it's just in one ear and out the other. Oh well, it's the way we were brought up. It no, is funny though, off. is how when you get older, obviously you choose who you associate with, and you mm. associate with people that are like minded. And yeah. when you hear that someone still uses that, you're like, what? Yeah, really? it's like what the hell. <laughs> embarrassing um it's shameful actually um so then jess went in the bathroom and she was moaning about what andrew said um and then daniel and johnny were moaning about andrew saying cunt saying Anne would be devastated i don't believe that and i i said if daniel and johnny weren't on tv they'd be calling Anne a cunt too mm. what do you think well, did um, Dapper Laughs not just um, make all those jokes about her never getting fucked, like, publicly? Oh, yeah, she's never sucked like, a dick that, or whatever. Is that, like, respecting mm. Anne as an elder? Exactly. As much as we thought that was funny and probably quite true. Oh, yeah, I remember laughing at that. Some other people said they laughed at that, yeah. too. Yeah. You can't help it. It's like, it's like a gut all reaction, is not it? <laughs> so then, oh, then we had the scene of Andrew in the storeroom talking to Courtney um, when he was... Um, he said, if she hasn't got anything nice to say about She's Anne... Shut her fucking trap. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was genuinely hurt about what Anne said about his family and about being evicted. He was a bit butthurt from being evicted, but not evicted, nominated, nominated basically, by wasn't so he? so many people as well. Yeah, he, was, he had his back up about yeah. that and he was taken out on Anne, which is fair because it was her. Um, what did Shane Jay say? Was it in the diary room where mm. he said, as much as I want to be, be a team and have his back and mm. all that, it's his game. This was where it felt like uh, Shane Jay started to distance pull himself away. from Andrew a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And that's what I didn't like, because I felt like everyone everyone that night felt like they were gaming, except for Andrew, who felt like he was actually having an honest reaction to it. Even if you think his reaction was inappropriate, Andrew wasn't calling mm. Anna cunt for the cameras. He was calling Anna cunt because he genuinely he thought off. she was being a cunt. Yeah. And he wasn't thinking about how that looked, because... Any sane person would think, okay, calling an old lady a cunt isn't going to look that good. But Andrew was just, he was actually acting from his gut and acting on his emotions. Daniel, Johnny, Shane J, Jess, Ashley, they were all gaming. Mm. All of them were gaming and wondering about what will the public think about this? I need to say the right thing. I need to, 
you know, be on our side. And mm-hmm. Andrew was the only honest person. That's when I thought, I'm going to vote for Andrew. Then I realised it's a triple eviction. And I thought, nah. Yeah. But in that moment, I felt like he no, was the only one right. being that was genuine. Tr- that was genuine. He was being a genuine dick, but he was being genuine. Genu- genuine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Andrew goes...